بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر اسد عباس دس لیکچر کمپرائز آف ٹو پارٹ ان پارٹ ون وی ول ڈسکس دا ایلیمنٹس آف سافٹ ویئر کوالٹی ایشورنس ویئر ایز ان پارٹ ٹو وی ول ڈسکس کوالٹی ایشورنس ایکٹیویٹیز فرام دا پرسپیکٹو آف ڈیفیکٹ مینجمنٹ Here we will discuss the elements of software quality assurance. These include standards, reviews and orders, testing, error or defect collection and analysis, change management, education, vendor management, security management, safety and risk management. So uh, we will discuss each of these elements one by one. So the first element is standards. By standards, we mean that the software quality assurance activities should conform to certain standards. For example, ISO 9000 is a common standard for software engineering that has various quality management principles defined and consequently the development of the software projects is required as per the guidelines of the standard in order to develop the quality products then uh, the second element is uh, reviews and audits uh, auditing uh, actually involves inspection of the code products and uh, its related information to determine if uh, this set of standard processes uh, were followed or not whereas uh, a review uh, is a meeting or uh, it is uh, a, an activity in which uh, the software product is examined by both the internal and uh, external stakeholders to seek their comments and uh, approval similarly uh, code inspection is uh, uh, the most formal kind of uh, review that uh, uh, does static testing to find the bugs and uh, avoid uh, the growth of defects in the Uh, later stages of the development it is done by uh, a trained uh, mediator or peer and is uh, based on rules checklists entry and exit criteria etc so uh, here in inspection it is recommended that uh, the reviewer is not or uh, the inspector is not the author of the code to make this process unbiased then uh, uh, design inspection design inspection is done using a checklist that uh, uh, inspects certain areas of software design for example uh, general requirements and design uh, functional and interface specifications uh, conventions requirements traceability uh, structures and interfaces logic performance error handling and recovery, testability, extensibility, and uh, coupling and cohesion. Then the next element is testing, and we are already uh, aware of the purpose of testing. Uh, for example, um, uh, there might be uh, the testing uh, where uh, we are concerned with testing the behavior of the system uh, by uh, giving some inputs to the system and similarly um, uh, in another type of testing uh, we might be concerned with uh, evaluating or testing uh, the structure or code of the system to uh, detect or identify the issues or uh, problems in the code or structure of the system so uh, uh, the former type of testing that i mentioned that is called black box testing whereas the later type of testing is called uh, the white box testing Then the next element is error collection and uh, analysis uh, which refers to mainly collecting the information about uh, different errors and defects and uh, their analysis so that uh, appropriate measures could be uh, taken to fix those defects then change management uh, change management refers to uh, following uh, the prescribed procedures for uh, managing the change requests 
that is uh, in order to incorporate a change uh, the impact of that change needs to be analyzed uh, before that change is incorporated into the uh, system then uh, the next uh, element of software quality assurance is education uh, education actually refers to uh, the training of the involved members of the development team as per requirements of their roles and uh, the development needs for example some team members uh, they are working in a certain capacity so there might be certain trainings or certifications uh, that are necessary according to their uh, positions or roles similarly some uh, other team members who are working uh, uh, on the development tasks they might uh, need some education or training in a certain tool or technology so that is also part of software quality assurance system then uh, the next element is vendor management uh, the vendor management is also an important quality uh, element uh, that enables organizations uh, to control the costs similarly uh, drive service excellent and uh, excellence and uh, uh, mitigate or minimize the risks to uh, gain increased values from uh, uh, from their vendors uh, throughout the life cycle of course there can be uh, several types of uh, vendors in software systems uh, for example uh, the hardware vendors and uh, vendors of software uh, components therefore effective management of all these vendors who are uh, participating in the development activities that is uh, indeed important and uh, should be according to the guidelines of a certain standard then uh, the next element is uh, security management security management is a, a discipline that uh, emphasizes uh, emphasizes on uh, developing the security procedures as per uh, the prescribed security guidelines uh, whereas uh, uh, safety safety actually uh, deals with following the procedures for uh, uh, physical safety for example uh, avoiding physical hazards to humans and environment so these procedures they have to be followed and usually organizations they uh, have uh, defined and prescribed procedures uh, related to safety then the last element is risk management. Uh, this deals with identifying uh, the risks of uh, uh, several types that could be faced during the project uh, development. Uh, these can be, for example, technological risks, financial risks, political and human relays, uh, resource related risks. So the purpose of uh, identifying the risks is that after uh, these risks are identified then plans regarding the mitigation of these risks have to be developed so uh, that's all about our discussion of the elements of software quality assurance here is an uh, interesting class activity in the light of our, our discussion on the quality assurance activities and uh, the elements of quality assurance that we discussed so uh, here is the description of the activity and uh, after reading that description you would have to answer uh, the two questions that are given at the end of this description so according to description uh, george wise is an uh, exceptional programmer testing his software modules reveals very few errors far fewer than the team's average he keeps his schedule promptly and only rarely is he late in completing his task. He always finds original ways to solve programming difficulties and uses an original individual version of the coding style. He dislikes preparing the required documentation and rarely does it according to the team's templates. A day after uh, completing a challenging task on time, he was called to the office of the department's chief software engineer. Instead of being praised for his accomplishments as he was expecting, 
He was warned by the company's chief software engineer that he would be fired unless he began to fully comply with the team's coding and documentation instructions. So here are two questions that uh, we need to answer. The first question is that, uh, do you agree with the position taken by the department's chief software engineer? And uh, the second question is that, if yes, could you suggest why his or her position was so decisive? So you need to deliberate on the importance of the quality assurance activities and answer these questions. The materials in this video are based on our course book titled Software Quality Assurance from Theory to Implementation by Daniel Gallin. For more details, you can consult the book. Thank you.